Greetings tech and gaming fans, Edge Runners is back with the latest updates you don't want to miss. In today's episode, AMD's plans to showcase the Ryzen 9000 X3D processors at CES 2025, Asus unveiling its innovative X870 BTF motherboard, Samsung's fastest GDDR7 memory, and Nvidia's plans for the RTX 5090. In addition, we'll also look at Avatar DLC and the Atomic Heart expansion and more. Prepare a cup of your favorite tea, settle in, and let's kick things off. First up, AMD is preparing to showcase its high-end Ryzen 9000 X3D and Ryzen 9950X3D processors at CES 2025. This confirmation comes from Tony Yu, General Manager of Asus China, during a Q&A session on the Chinese platform Bilibili. While AMD hasn't officially announced the launch or release dates, it's clear that their partners, including Asus, have insights into their roadmap. These new processors are expected to push the performance boundaries of AMD's 3DV cache technology, building on the success of previous X3D models. Additionally, Asus will unveil its flagship X870 BTF motherboard at CES. This board introduces innovative features like rear-facing ports and a hidden 600 watts GPU power connector, promising a cleaner and more efficient setup. What do you expect from AMD's Ryzen 9000 X3D lineup at CES 2025? Share your thoughts in the comments. Journalists from Video Cards highlighted an intriguing incident during a recent live stream hosted by Brazilian outlet Pichau. One of the stream's standout guests was a representative from the local branch of Inno3D who addressed various audience questions. During the Q&A, viewers asked about the release date for Nvidia's next generation graphics cards. The Inno3D representative unexpectedly stated that the GeForce RTX 5090 would be available in three weeks, sparking a lively reaction from the audience. Realizing the mistake, the representative quickly retracted the statement, clarifying that the GeForce RTX 5090 would officially be announced at CES 2025. However, video card speculates that this wasn't a simple slip of the tongue. They believe the Inno3D Brazil manager may have unintentionally revealed that regional AIB partners of NVIDIA will receive pre-release samples of the GeForce RTX 5090 before the end of the year. Such samples are typically distributed to regional vendor offices for marketing and training purposes, allowing staff to familiarize themselves with the product. Ubisoft has released the second major expansion for Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, titled Secrets of the Spires. This DLC takes players to a new, unexplored region of Pandora, where they'll work alongside a local Na'vi clan to fight against the RDA Corporation. The expansion brings new gameplay mechanics, including battles against RDA air convoys, advanced Banshee riding skills, and new weapons. Priced at $20, it's available now on PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series. Alongside the DLC, Ubisoft rolled out a major update for the game, adding support support for the PlayStation 5 Pro. This includes a new quality mode that allows for 60 FPS gameplay with improved visuals thanks to Sony's PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution technology. AMD's next-generation desktop processors, based on the Zen 6 architecture, are expected in 2026. These CPUs will introduce a new manufacturing process, more cores, and likely a new socket. Recent leaks suggest significant changes to the compute die and input-output die, including integrated graphics and memory controllers. Unlike Zen 5's 8-core CCDs, Zen 6 CCDs will feature 12 cores, enabling desktop processors with at least 24 cores from dual chiplet designs. This shift may require a larger chip size and new New socket to support increased power delivery. For mobile, the Zen 6 Medusa chips might adopt a modular design, combining larger IOD and NPU chips with smaller CCDs, focusing on AI capabilities and power efficiency. Are you ready for a new socket with AMD's upcoming Zen 6 processors? Let us know in the comments. Journalists from Video Cards, citing their own sources, have revealed the exact dates for the official announcement and release of the first two Intel Battlemage series graphics cards. According to their information, Intel is preparing two next-generation GPUs, the Arc B580 and Arc B570. These cards will be officially unveiled on December 3, 2024. The report also confirms that Intel will release its own reference designs under the Intel Limited Edition branding. Sales of these GPUs are scheduled to begin on December 12, 2024. On the same day, independent reviews and benchmarks of the Arc B580 and Arc B570 reference models will be published by popular tech bloggers and media outlets. The following day, reviews of custom versions produced by Intel's partners are expected to appear online. Munfish has released a teaser for the third story DLC of Atomic Heart. While the title is still under wraps, the teaser hints at new content and a release window. 
In the video, protagonist Major Nechayev battles the underwater robot Moor, likely a boss fight. Players will revisit familiar areas and explore new ones, including a submerged complex filled with dangers. The DLC is set to launch this winter, likely late 2024 or early 2025, across all platforms Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Munfish also confirmed a fourth DLC is planned as the final expansion before development on Atomic Heart 2 begins. AMD has released a new BIOS update designed to significantly reduce intercore latency in Strix Point mobile processors, according to information shared by Tech Insider. This optimization was achieved through collaboration between AMD's software developers and Asus engineers. The updated firmware reportedly decreases intercore latency by up to 2.6 times, enabling faster communication between cores and reducing delays in data transfer. This improvement is expected to enhance overall processor performance. A similar update was previously rolled out for Zen 5 desktop processors, which saw notable performance gains after the patch. The first laptops to receive the updated BIOS will be Tianshuan Air 2024 models, with other devices expected to follow soon. This update reflects AMD's ongoing efforts to optimize performance across its latest CPU families. How much will the new BIOS update improve Strix Point performance? Share your thoughts in the comments. According to recent rumors, the upcoming GeForce RTX 50 series GPUs are expected to feature GDDR7 memory with data transfer speeds of up to 32 gigabits per second. However, Samsung is already developing even faster GDDR7B RAM and plans to officially unveil it at the International Solid State Circuits Conference 2025 in February. Details about Samsung's presentation appeared on the official website, highlighting the company's advancements in 24 gigabyte GDDR7 memory with record-breaking speeds of up to 42.5 gigabits per second. The memory also incorporates technologies aimed at improving energy efficiency. A key innovation is the use of pulse amplitude modulation, which enables industry-leading VRAM speeds of 40 gigabits per second, a 25% improvement over current solutions. Additionally, depending on usage conditions, the performance can be further boosted to 42.5 gigabits per second, according to the event description. Digital Foundry experts have stated that the racing simulator Gran Turismo 7 is one of the best examples of how the PlayStation 5 Pro reveals its true potential, fully justifying the existence of the console. The game runs smoothly even at the ultra-high 8K resolution, made possible by the PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution technology, which upscales the image from 4K to 8K. Despite the scaling, the visual quality remains exceptional, though finding a compatible 8K TV is still difficult and costly. Additionally, Digital Foundry praised the game's ray tracing implementation, the improved frame rate, and the detailed rendering of car interiors. They also highlighted enhancements in VR mode when using the PlayStation VR 2 headset, providing an even more immersive experience. Overall, Gran Turismo 7 stands out as a showcase title for the PlayStation 5 Pro, demonstrating the console's advanced capabilities. According to insiders, NVIDIA's upcoming GeForce RTX 5090 flagship could deliver up to 50% more performance than the RTX 4090, based on total processing power estimates. The RTX 5090 is rumored to feature 21,760 CUDA cores and a 3 GHz boost clock, yielding a total processing power of approximately 8,356, compared to the RTX 4090's 5,285, indicating a substantial upgrade. However, a potential RTX 50 90D, a scaled-down version, may underperform even the RTX 4090. If it lacks FP8 support, crucial for AI and machine learning tasks, its TPP could drop to as low as 2089 for FP16 and 4178 for FP32 workloads, placing it in a lower performance tier. While the RTX 5090 targets extreme performance, the 5090D may cater to budget-conscious users, possibly positioned at the entry level of the RTX 50 series lineup. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. What do you expect from AMD's Ryzen 9000 X3D lineup at CES 2025? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.